Hey everyone, it's Justine, and today I'm bringing you a really fun collaboration card. The design team from So Susie Stamps, as well as the design team for the Ton Stamps, have collaborated together to bring you cards featuring both companies' stamp sets and products to show you how well they coordinate with each other. I'll have the link below to the description in my description about my blog and where you can go to hop along and see the rest of the cards. If you comment on each of the blogs, there's a chance you could win a $25 gift certificate to So Suzy Stamps, a $25 gift certificate to The Ton Stamps, and a Bunky Bag are all up for grabs, so be sure to check it out. So I'm starting this card using my Misty tool, and I am stamping... The Hot Stripe background cling from the Ton Stamps and I'm stamping it in Rose Quartz ink. Now this is the first time ever I'm stamping this and because it's such a solid background, I'm really excited that I have the Misties so I can stamp in the same place twice and I can really get a nice bold color. So I'm going to stamp it a couple of times to get the color that I want. For me, it's really important to get a nice solid color and by stamping this over and over again, you can get so many different shades of this pink color. So that's what's really cool about getting the Misty is that if you stamp it more than once, you can get the rose quartz color, you can get a shade darker, you can get two shades darker all using the same ink pad. And the ton ink pads are so cool. They have really great uh, variety of colors and they come in a really great arrangement from really dark to really light. And some of the colors I haven't seen in any of their lines before, which are super fun. All right, so I think I'm all satisfied. I just needed to push down a little bit harder on this side with my stripes on my background. And once they dry, they're gonna dry more solid. So they're similar to other ink brands as well that may take, uh, they might look a little bit splotchy at the moment, but they do eventually calm down, settle into the paper, and then you'll see the true results. And at this point in time, the cards sat and dried and they are really awesome and look really great in the solid color. And you'll see that in the image at the end. Now I'm going to take some of my So Susie stamps. I'm going to take the Dancing Fairy stamp as well as the Laughter and Flare or the Flare and Laughter stamp from So Susie stamps and I'm going to attach those to my Misty as well and I'm going to be stamping these in black. I think having those pink stripes in the background is really going to be enhanced by the black color and the solidness of my stamps here. And again I'm using a very solid stamp so I am going to stamp these more than once onto my card base. It's not necessary to stamp these more than once. I just personally really like a very, very deep black look. And I honestly say I never really noticed the difference before when I didn't have my Misty because I lived without one as we all kind of did for a long time. But now that I do have one, I do notice the difference in the crispness of the image. Now I just need to really embellish my card and make sure my card is nicely enhanced with my embellishments. So I'm grabbing this Christmas collection here of sequins from the ton. And as you can see, there's many reds, greens, and golds in there, but there were also some silvery white ones that I did find. So I'm gonna use my pick-me-up tool and I'm going to attach these. I'm using my Tonic Studios liquid glue pen here and to add little bits of glue. And I'm using my pick-me-up tool in order to place them on there so that my fingers don't get dirty and stuck. Don't forget that everything I'm using in this video, aside from the white cardstock, is available from Sozu Suzy Stamps or the Ton Stamps. Now I folded my card base, so it's an A2 size card folded up there at the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some silver matte adhesive backed cardstock from the Ton, and I'm going to use that to really bring out the look of my card. I think adding the card panel directly to the card base would have looked just as pretty, but I thought I'd off center the card on some silver paper to make it a little bit shiny. And it's only going to be showing from two sides. So you can see I just take the adhesive off the back, just going to adjust my card here because of the liquid glue it did shift a little bit and then I'm going to stick that onto my card towards the bottom so you're going to see I'm going to get a frame on the left and top side and I left the bottom and the right side just white cardstock and I think that looks really neat that's the first time I've ever tried really off centering cardstock in such a way so that's the end of my card tutorial today. Don't forget about our blog hop. The link is below in the description. Go ahead and leave a comment on all of the different blogs for a chance to win all those great prizes I mentioned earlier. I hope to see your comments and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.